Folks, welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the retirement review of two soldiers and graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Justin Zufelt. Good morning. At this time, I invite you to pray with me according to your faith tradition as I pray according to mine. Let us pray. Father, who are in heaven, we are thrilled for the opportunity to meet here today to celebrate the dedicated soldiers of Class 2302. May these soldiers move forward in their lives and careers using their experience here as a foundation of strength. We are grateful for the dedication that each soldier displayed as they overcame the tests and challenges placed before them. These challenges included fatigue, separation from loved ones, as well as the guidance of the always present professional drill sergeant. The soldiers standing before us today refused to quit and have earned the proud title of U.S. Army Soldier. Please bless this ceremony and continue to bless these soldiers and their families as they progress in their lives. This we pray in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the careers of two lifelong soldiers and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes the difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of our retirees' lifelong dedication to our nation and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the command of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin Pick. Graduating soldiers from companies Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system selected based on professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Captain Natalie Johnson, who serves as the executive officer for the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. She and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger. On his left is 1st Sergeant Patricia Rogers, the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. Down, 
The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Confidence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of two lifelong soldiers. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that these four soldiers were first introduced to the Army values. It is where they learn the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 20 years ago, these soldiers took the same oath to defend this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute these great soldiers as they pass the torch of freedom along to the newest generation of soldiers, your loved ones who are standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States will be presented to those retiring today. It reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and a sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. I trust that in the coming years, you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you served. Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to ensure the protection of our American freedoms. 
My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. A certificate of retirement from the Chief of Staff, United States Army, is also presented to those retiring today and to the spouses of today's retirees for their dedicated service to our nation. At this time, Brigadier, Brigadier General Kelly and Command Sergeant Major Oates will recognize our retirees for their service to the United States Army. Sergeant First Class Howard Good, having served honorably for 24 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 11 May 2023. Sergeant First Class Howard Good entered active duty in Jacksonville, Florida, and will reside in Elgin, South Carolina upon retirement. His fondest professional achievement was training young and hungry 42 Alphas the correct way to be human resources professionals. The nation salutes Sergeant First Class Howard Good, United States Army, retired. Staff Sergeant Gerardo R. Murillo, having served honorably for 23 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 11 May 2023. Staff Sergeant Gerardo Murillo entered active duty in Los Angeles, California, and, was, and will reside in Blythewood, South Carolina upon retirement. His fondest professional achievement was becoming a drill sergeant, strengthening his resilience, patience, persistence, and leadership, providing important life skills to trainees for their future careers and personal lives. The nation salutes. Staff Sergeant Gerardo Murillo, United States Army, retired. Please join me in one final round of applause for our retirees and their families. Although newly retired, they will always be a part of our Army family. Soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants, who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle for Bravo Company, 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Staff Sergeant Marcus Mack, will recite the drill sergeant creed. We ask that all drill sergeants, past and present, please stand for the reciting of the drill sergeant creed.
never require a soldier to attempt any task that I would not do myself. But first, last, and always, I am an American soldier sworn to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. I am a drill sergeant. This will depend. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger and First Sergeant Patricia Rogers will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for 113th Infantry Battalion is Drill Sergeant Marcus Mack from Huntsville, Alabama. The soldier leader of the cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist Jeffrey D. Houck from Baltimore, Maryland. The soldier of the cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist Abby P. Su from China. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Specialist Latifa Jean Vier from St. James, Trinidad. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Cody Royland from Lake Zurich, Illinois. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private First Class Anna C. Abair from Madison, Alabama. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Specialist Kara Andrews from San Antonio, Texas. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Specialist Susie Kim from Boston, Massachusetts. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Private First Class Alexander Brackey from Bloomington, Indiana. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Hannah Barnes from Charlotte, North Carolina. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Daria Leshik from Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger. Good morning. Brigadier General Kelly, Brigadier General Harrison, Command Sergeant Major Oak, Mrs. Oak, Colonel White, Mrs. White, Command Sergeant Major Worth, Commanders, Command Sergeants Major, distinguished guests, family, and friends of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Thank you for attending today's ceremony. On behalf of the U.S. Army Training Center and Fort Jackson Commander General, Brigadier General Kelly, and the U.S. Army Training Center and Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Oaks, welcome to Fort Jackson, your soldiers' graduation ceremony, and your retirement review for Staff Sergeant First Class Good and Staff Sergeant Nordia. To the families in the audience, thank you for trusting us with your loved ones and for supporting their decision to serve our nation. It is my privilege to officially welcome you both to the Army and the Vicksburg family. I am truly honored to stand before you here today and provide marks on this occasion. It is truly a rewarding experience watching this diverse group of citizens transform into a cohesive team of American soldiers. America is only the great nation today because of the sacrifices of generations of service members and their families that have fought to sustain our freedoms. These great men and women, some of whom have paid the ultimate sacrifice, volunteered to serve at a time and place 
when their nation needed them the most. The blood, sweat, and tears they have shed on the battlefield and the home front is the reason we are able to assemble here today and celebrate the accomplishments of the soldiers on the field and our retirees. Today, we welcome 923 of America's newest soldiers to our ranks, and we also honor two of our own as they retire from the Army. I'd like to take some time to personally thank them for their over 47 years of service to our nation. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize all of our veterans and retirees of our armed services, past and present. You all especially know the significance of what these soldiers have accomplished. Thank you for attending today. Please stand and be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome me. To the I would be remiss if I did not mention that none of us actually serve alone. Our families serve right along with us and make sacrifices along the way. Bill Dean, Lupe, Gabrielle, Quentin, Danielle, Howard III, and Rosie, thank you for supporting your soldier over the years. And to all of our military families here in the stands today, thank you for your continued support. Please join me in a round of applause for our military families. Second band. We have the absolute privilege of having the best band in the Army right here on Fort Jackson. Please join me in a round of applause for our great band. The next group of individuals I would like to recognize are my casuals. This talented group of staff officers, non commissioned officers, platoon leaders, commanders, and first sergeants work tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure the battalion accomplishes its mission. Their efforts often get overlooked because they are quiet professionals. And they make all of this possible. So please join me in a round of applause for my cats. Now I want to thank the backbone of this battalion, our drill sergeants. Those of us that have been in the Army remember how demanding basic training was as a training. The hours of practicing rifle marksmanship, the intense physical training, and the constant stress. What we do not always appreciate is that through it all, our drill sergeants were there every step of the way. They're up in the morning preparing before the trainees wake up, and they only go to work, go home from work, after the last trainee is in their, his or her rack. They do this cycle after cycle. This level of dedication to duty and selfless service is impressive. I would like to take a moment to recognize this team of professionals and their families that support them for a job well done. A little over 10 weeks ago, the soldiers you see before you left home, some of them for the very first time. They left as civilians. They left as your sons and daughters, your mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, and some of, you, some of you even though you've got those grandchildren. You sent them to us. You trusted us to house them and to feed them, but also to train them and to make them better. And now they stand before you transformed. On March 3rd, 1,058 trainees began this journey. 923 soldiers stand before you today. Here are some interesting facts about this diverse group. The youngest soldier is 17. The oldest is 42. They come from every state in the Union, two U.S. territories, 25 different countries, and represent five continents. Places like Nigeria, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Iraq, Egypt, Guam, Brazil, China, from coast to coast, Alaska and Hawaii too, we got them all in the formation. There are soldiers in this formation with associate degrees. We have 38. We have 59 bachelors, 15 masters, two doctors. We also have 34 soldiers that gained American citizenship on our field today. unique and diverse backgrounds, what unites all of them, each of them for their own unique reasons. Answer the call. They raised their right hand, they swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all 
for an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, soldiers standing on the field today represent the very best this nation has to offer. They are physically fit, they are mentally tough, intelligent, and resilient. Time and time again, we tested them throughout this tough training cycle. They demonstrated that they are up to the task of defending our nation. Command Sergeant Major and I are extremely proud and we will sleep easy knowing the future of our great army lies in their capability. To the soldiers on the field, Team Vicksburg, this is my last opportunity to address you as your commander, and I want to leave you with just a few parting thoughts before you continue your army journey. You made it. You didn't quit. You showed the grit and determination you need to be a soldier. You didn't quit on yourself. You didn't quit on your teammates or your nation. I am proud to count you among the ranks. You should be proud of what you accomplished. Take some time and enjoy the moment. It is a critical milestone in the life of a soldier. But always remember, the business of defending our nation does not stop. And tomorrow, we need you to get right back at it. Set your goals high. The Army is one of the few true meritocracies in the world. Over the course of your career, you have countless opportunities to advance and excel. You just have to put in the hard work and take advantage of it. Only you can stop you. And finally, from the first day you arrived at the battalion, you have been saying our unofficial motto. The motto is hard work, the response is dedication. You have all exemplified those two words over the course of your training. Always remember, it's hard work and dedication that got you here, and it's hard work and dedication that will enable you to overcome your future challenges. I'm proud of all of you. I wish you luck in your future endeavors. Welcome to the Army. Welcome to Team Vicksburg, and welcome to the family. Thank you all for joining us here today. Hard work, dedication, the first day of Vicksburg, no ground to give, and victory. Today's soldier is above all a warrior, adaptive, confident, and competent. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in Army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers' Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform that you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have come what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Specialist Latifa jean Vier presents a certificate of appreciation to the retirees. Please remain standing as Specialist John Vier leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed.
Please be seated. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it is passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldier under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldier on the field once instructed by the narrator or respective companies.